All right, welcome back to another episode of Beer, Bacon, and Bros. Here tonight with, uh, of course, Adam, Chris, and Keith. What's going on? How you doing? So uh, we're going to go ahead and jump into our first beer review of the night here. But before we do that, make sure you're hitting that like, uh, subscribe button for us. It helps us grow the family. Free to you. Doesn't hurt anybody. Yeah. Go ahead and hit on, hit that and get get partying with us. So the uh, what? No, I like it. You get to get partying. Get partying with us. Let's go. Uh, so the first beer we're going to do tonight is from Gaffel, I guess. Gaffel. Gaffel sounds good. Gaffel. It is a Rabbler. So this is a lemon and beer mix. So a 2.0 ABV from yeah. from Cologne, 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 Cologne Germany. Germany. So it's like they say they don't use preservatives, additives, or artificial flavors. So it's straight. So straight beer and lemon. Juice. Yeah. This is this old lemon. This is old lemon, lemon juice. This is gonna feel good after the 102 days that we've been having here. So yeah, what well, today felt good with that rain finally coming yeah, in. Yeah, when the rain finally came in, and we're not expecting that. And then uh, yeah, I was, I was I was saying before I came over here to somebody. That's one way to uh, kill 102 is rain all day. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna tell you, I'm a big fan of Rattlers. By the way, had had one when I was in Berlin. Um, just have not, I've not looked back since. So I got some high expectations for this. Well, it definitely looks like lemonade. Have we done a Rattler on the show? Yeah, we've done this year. We did one. We did a Rattler, not this year. Not this year. year. Um, you were on the show when we did a. I think I think I was on the. So it's been less than a year. I mean, I've been here a year, so. Oh yeah, that's good. Definitely smell the lemon, and it does smell like straight up lemon juice. This is this is the beer that you can drink at two o'clock on a Monday afternoon and not feel guilty about it. Oh, that's what I. That's how I feel. I was not expecting it to be that sweet. Yeah, I was not expecting that because it tastes more like lemonade than anything, like a carbonated lemonade. It's a carbonated lemonade and ale put together. That's yeah. basically what you got going on. Yeah, this is good glass cutting weather beer. Exactly. Right? <laughs> exactly. Hot summer's day, you need to crack a cold one that has some flavor that's not a Bud Light. If you're if you're on the Get water, yourself a lab if you're on the water at 10 a.m. and you know you're going to be there mm -hmm. till seven, eight, nine at night, this is what you need to be drinking because you can make the whole day with this without yeah. getting just sloshed. Glenn, I say Glenn, it's only two percent, so it's going to be definitely low. On the, you're not drinking it to get drunk. You're drinking it because it tastes good. Yes, it's it's actually, gonna, at two point, at two point oh, you're, it's gonna take like fourteen of those things to get you drunk. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but you know, you know, again, you. This is for the coolness, the crispness, the refreshing, the flavor, yeah, it's refreshing. of this beer after being out in the yeah. summer. If anything, it's I mean, yeah, if anything, it's definitely refreshing. Good picnic beer, if you would. Yeah, absolutely. So absolutely. Very good, very uh, good. Actually, um, Sam Adams makes something very similar. They make a it's, it's a shanty. It's a, it's a shanty. Shandy. Summer shanty. Right. Yeah. Uh, which yeah. I actually have one. It's like a line of Google. Same thing. Similar to line of Google. Yeah. yeah. It's a little, 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 little. I, need, I need to bring it. We'll, we'll review it. I think the summer shanty for Sam Adams is only 4%, so it's, you know, double. It's a little, a little heavier, but yeah, but that's because it's made by Sam Adams and not, yeah. Yeah. So, I'm going to say the, the flavors making it all the way across the water through this process coming in from Germany Maybe. to to have this kind of high quality of flavor that this beer still has is kind of actually impressive. It tastes like uh, I actually get I'm you get a little bit like a mint there at the end. Like oh. lemon and a little bit maybe mint. I can see that. Like I mean I, I I can see I yeah I mean I can definitely have that like on the very very back. Like a hint of just I was like, actually gonna say I I'm actually getting like the feel of like drinking like a lemon sprite. Almost. Like a heavier lemon sprite. Right, yeah. yeah. I, I, mean, that's why I, I, I just write it as lemon lime. But, but I minus the lime. But minus the lime. It's more of like, it, it's got that same like that same feel as, as, as a sprite does. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, for for what this is and for it to, you know, again, granted, Ladlers are always on the low end of the spectrum. Um, this is very good. 7-7. Seven, seven. Sure. Would definitely drink again. Yeah, I'll be at a seven five on that. Chris is like nine seven. No, no. I, <laughs> yeah, I, I was actually gonna go seven. I'm gonna go seven eight because I was gonna go seven seven. So I mean, it's it's right there. Like there's nothing wrong with it. Obviously, you want a little bit more alcohol with it. 
you know, the, the conversation about, like, you know, is it a beer? Because it's really like half lemonade, half beer. But, yeah. Um, it's the Arnold Palmer of beer. It's the Arnold Palmer of beer, <laughs> yeah. So, like, I mean, it's you know, it's not, it's, I mean, you still have that beer sensation that you, that you get drinking it. It feels like Because it. you still, because it still has that carbonation, it has that kind of that, that heavier yeah. feel. Yeah. Without being heavy. So, I mean, it's, it's. It's not like drinking a porter, but you still feel like you're drinking a beer. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I, I I can see where you can drink this if you don't if you want to get sloshed and you can drink like four of these and still be able to you know go out and do whatever. Like I, I know why Europeans love to drink these during like soccer matches and stuff like that. Like because you're out all day long. Sun, yeah, you're drinking all day long. Like this is something hot, refreshing. That is, if you were in an adult league soccer, yeah, in in England and drink whatever, even here. And you were allowed to have beers on the sideline, crack one of those middle of play, and you could crack well, one this, of those. This is like this is like what you would see them drink when they, because you know, in, in Europe they go home for lunch for like two hours. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is what you would, this is what I would expect them to be drinking. I mean, that's not like a like a wine, but their but their lunch or something. But I mean, the two percent. Yeah, I mean, I mean you crush one of these during a business meeting. And right. Feel bad about it. Like, well, yeah. Well, you just put it, in, you just put it in a, in a Yeti. Oh, I'm drinking lemonade. So yeah, yeah, I'm good. No matter what. Yeah. So. Um, all right, so back down the line, seven five seven eight seven seven. The Gefell. Gefell. Gaffler. I think it's Gefell. I would say Gefell. Oh, Gefell. Rattler. Out of uh, Cologne, 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 Germany. Germany. And that's a review.